you are watching Jed's Loot Box, where I post anything and everything about toys and collectibles. Ouch! All right, today, guys, we are unboxing this new line. I think this is... Where's this from? Of course, this is from China, but, like, it's not Pop Mart. It's just Pitsun. Okay. It's from Simon Toys. Okay, it's Simon Toys. It's school Life. All right, so this is actually a blind box. I think there's eight. There you go. So we will open. And I think this these are BJDs. It's called, what is this? Pitsun. And it comes with a secret. I don't know if we're gonna get a secret today, but we don't know, you will find out. Ah, it comes with like a card and stickers that you can stick on this card. That is so amazing. It's like very interactive. Love it. Okay, so we put it back here first. And then it comes with this, of course, the actual toy. And it comes with a card. Coming freebies, huh? And it comes with extra hands. And that's how he looks. He or she? It's a he. But he has like. Um, ponytail. Okay, it, 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 it's like an android. Okay, so he comes with glasses. It's jointed, just like a BJD. But, of course, it's like an android. The concept of an android. Okay, so let's put back... Okay, before that, I think we have to put the outfits. Oh, this is so cool, huh? It's basically a PJD. Okay, so we remove this because I think we'll need to remove the head first. It's Velcro, guys, so it's easier. Okay, and then we wear his pants. Or we make him wear his pants. Okay, guys, don't mind the paint that you see on my hands because I've been painting today. Not a painting, but more of my dioramas. But it feels good kaya, when you're sometimes like dirty. I mean, like it's because of work. You see the effects of work, the remnants of your work. Especially when what you're making or creating um, starts to take form. Okay, and look at this guys, there's a tiny necktie. There you go. So he wears it. And then you make him wear his suit. And you make him wear his socks. We actually don't know what they're called because they're all in Chinese, guys. Okay, and then we have his shoes over here. We uh, put back his head so there you go guys this little boy in his blue suit a uh, green suit and he comes with his own book but we're not gonna take it out and also he comes with his extra hands with paws like like a kitty paw okay so let's see if he stands Yes, we can. All right, so there's the first one. Okay, again, it comes with its own card and stickers. There. Oh, this one's a short-haired boy. The Cricut card over here. These are like social boys, no? Like Alabang boys, Zabel boys, ganon. I, I, I just, I'm wondering, why do people, if you're social, you're from Alabang? But there's also social people in Makati, BGC. Diba? But I guess like the old rich, no? Or from Alabang. But you know, I guess it's also because of that movie Alabang Girls. Remember during the 80s, I guess? Alabang Girls. But anyway, he has this preppy outfit. I can just imagine how they make and produce all these little outfits. And make him wear his necktie. All right, and we make him wear his socks. I'm gonna make him wear his white sneakers. He 
It comes with extra hands, but we're not gonna use that. It doesn't come with any accessory, so that's the next one. Standing over there. They kind of don't live, well, live. They don't kind of leave you with any choice. You have to keep the box. I normally would throw it away, but. Okay, so, so far we don't have any of the chases yet. We got one regular and the guy with the long hair. Here, okay. Cards, stickers. Okay, so this one is more of a, a French boy because of the beret. Hands, shorts. And then make him wear his white shirt. If you're a collector of toys, sometimes after collecting toys, you, you are like particularly this, this set of BJDs, you kind of ask yourself what next. I mean, you cannot, well, you can make clothes for them, but it's very tedious, it's very difficult. But you know, sometimes you, you question yourself, what next, right? So what I do, like personally, um, I love taking photos, so what I do, I make dioramas and take photos of my toys. I make backgrounds, I make like miniatures. So uh, check out Pinterest or check out uh, stuff online. There's a lot of ideas on how to make dioramas or backgrounds. So uh, yeah, I mentioned earlier that I have paint all over my, my, my hands because I've been making dioramas uh, today. I've been like, you know, um, improving on my diorama skills. Well, oh, yeah. So, uh, well, hopefully one of these days I get to show them to you because they're out drying outside the house because we uh, you know, painted them. And then we make him wear his socks. And then make him wear his shoes. These ones are like white and blue soles with yellow lace or shoestrings okay by the way guys these arms um, are connected by string like elastics inside so they're all garterized be very careful because you might you know break okay and of course you make him wear his beret there you go all right and then we keep the rest of the small parts because you'll never know if you're gonna need it in the future, if you plan to like change the hand positions, which I don't, the redhead. There you go. No name. Now, there's a name here, but it's Chinese card. Ah, this one's a photographer. Okay, outfit. I just wonder why with girls you can wear our pants. But with guys, you can't. We can't wear your skirts, right? But I don't know. I've seen a lot of people on TikTok now that are making um, clothes more accessible to whatever gender. Because you see them in the like in like Japanese, they, they wear like those kimonos and their skirts, like like basically look robes. I mo kubasi nung nagpauso na bawal ganito, bawal yan. Sometimes our world is just how people perceive it to be or people write history about. Na sometimes you even wonder if it's like real or not. Points to ponder. Okay, and this one is a cardigan. There you go. Then we make him wear socks. Okay, and shoes. And then before we put back his neck and head, I mean, we put the camera around his neck. Okay, so that is our fourth boy. There you go. Nice. Keep the hands. This one's cute. He has a band-aid on his nose. There you go, clothes. Again, the hands we put aside. Oh, this one's like a sporty one with a sporty outfit. Then we can wear the socks and shoes. Okay, and it, he comes with this accessory. This one's like a fanny pack. 
don't know if we can open it, but normally in a real in in a normal world, you don't wear your fanny pack from your feet down uh, up. I mean, and this one has a lock, but it doesn't open. So okay, and now we put his head. Oh, he's so cute. He has a pangil. He has a fang. Look, can you see? <laughs> All right, we put him here beside the long-haired guy. Okay. And we keep this one. Stickers. Oh, this one's like a cow-inspired outfit. Card. Oh, he also has a, 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 an earring, but it's a bone. The hands, it's like a milkman. And the outfit. Okay, and socks. And shoes. Oh, these shoes are cute. They're sandals. I mean, like, they're like open insides. Open insides. Okay, and he comes with a bag. It's a cow bag. It's so cute because he has like a ponytail on top. Okay, so that's this boy over here. All right. Okay, we're down to our last two. We still haven't gotten the chase. But it's all good. Here you go. He comes with a bubble gum. Card. Okay, outfit. And also I have a question. What makes a color feminine? Tiging at. Yeah, because sometimes automatic when it's pink, they say it's for girls. If it's blue, it's for boys. So how about green? Or how about yellow? Is yellow for girls or yellow for boys? Right? So I think it's how people dictate before like it started i'm sure it started years ago when somebody just said pink is for girls no <laughs> like for example this this one's a guy and he has pink but there's also blue but based on how we were brought up these colors like pastels are feminine so and then, if you want to be masculine, it has to be black, it has to be navy blue, it has to be brown. No, I don't think color will define you. I mean, color um, in all aspects. Color of your outfit, your favorite color, or your skin color, it doesn't define you. Okay, so this one looks like somehow a, like a play outfit, but I wouldn't play using white a white jacket because it's gonna get dirty but no I don't I, I remember when I was younger my my mom I would see photos but my mom and my tita and my aunties would tell me that they would always dress me in all white wow. yeah I don't know why I mean like they just like me really clean and fresh and I'd, ha I'd smell like powder and I'd be wearing like a white shirt or a white sandal and shorts that's how i was like dressed when i was a kid so i don't know why i, I just stopped wearing white <laughs> so yeah you know those random thoughts they just come out see we just talked about color and applied it in like our lives because sometimes they say, if you like black, you're like a dark person. Okay. But no. Yeah, just because. Like, for example, like you guys, you're production people. You have no choice. You have to remain discreet and like in the dark. <laughs> so you have to wear black. It doesn't mean you're evil people. Or the also, one, one reason also why I don't wear white is because I'm a big guy. And if you wear white, I'd be very wide. Because if it's black, I don't know if it's if I don't know if it's real, if it's true. When you wear dark colors, you kind of look skinnier. When you wear light colors, you look wider. So with that said, magbabulgam ka na lang. Mm. 
See, there's a magnet, guys. It's a magnet. Pook. All right. So let him stand there. And we are going to be unboxing the last box here. Okay, stickers, cards again. Green eyes, nice. Oh, this one has like a hair lip. What do you call it in Tagalog? Bingot. So yeah, look. He has a bingot. But he looks cute. It's high time that people, you know, do not judge um, based on looks, based on social status. I think it's more now based on personality, right? I mean, you can be the richest person, but you can be the most evil. You can be the most ugly person, but you have a heart of gold. Wow. Well, that's true. Yeah. But I don't believe that there's an ugly person. You think? Oh, maybe, you know, I don't want to sound plastic. Na parang, of course, it depends on your taste. Sometimes you, you see people attractive, you find people attractive, subjective. subjective, and sometimes you don't find them attractive, but it doesn't mean they're ugly, yeah. right? I think ugliness, ugliness, for me, I base ugliness on personality. Character, yeah, I don't, I, it's, it's very shallow if you base um, beauty on the physical. Well, physical can come, you know, at first. Because that's the first thing you you see. Siyempre, hindi mo naman kilala yung tao agad. But when you see somebody good-looking and, you know, attractive, that's the first thing you notice. And then you try to find out if that person is really, you know, worthy of being called beautiful. But of course, we're all beautiful. You are beautiful no matter what they say. Words can't bring you down. Check out my uh, album, Iconic. I wonder why we're not promoting my albums in my, ano, in my YouTube channel. You know, the craftsmanship of these clothes are amazing. It's really, really nice. But if you talk about creativity, I think Filipinos are the best. I guess we have certain traits lang talaga na. It's like, number one is being lazy. A lot of Filipinos are lazy. I mean, in you guys. F Filipinos are very talented, come on. Believe me, but sometimes they're just so lax and they they're very parang huh? Ang you can do more, right? So ay nako. I I still have hope for the Filipinos. <laughs> yeah, we're amazing, kaya hello. Like look at all those things that we put out into the world. World champions like Manny Pacquiao and you know. Pia words back and you know Leia Salonga you know the first Filipino to win the Grand Champion Performer of the World in 2005 celebrating his 20th anniversary me it's true naman but then I don't want to sound bragging but you know I'm proud of what I achieved because it wasn't easy yeah it wasn't easy it's like I celebrated my 20th year and looking back Wow, it was a crazy hell of a ride. And I, I, I earned a lot. I lost a lot. I learned a lot. I, yeah, I regretted some. But I am grateful for most of it, majority of it. Because if not for things that happened in my past 20 years, I wouldn't be who I am right now. And, you know, I can proudly say that I have matured. Yeah, I guess. Because um, before, when I was, you know, younger, I guess I was very impulsive. I was very, you know, uh, hot-tempered. But at the same time, I was too lenient. I was too mabait. Right? Until now, yeah, but then there are times I know how to deal with it now. If I know that somebody is like taking advantage or is abusing, not just me, but somebody in my circle, I deal with it. It's either I take myself out of the picture or not deal with that person. Right? And if it does not contribute to my sanity, 
if it does not contribute to my peace and my chi, I just like throw it away. I mean, like, as, as simple as that. I mean, sabihin nila na grabe ka naman yung mga tao sa paligid mo. I don't throw away people who matter. I don't throw away people who support me. I, I, I don't throw away people. I just go away. I just go on a separate direction and avoid those kinds of people. Especially the ones that are not um, doing an advantage to me. Right? So, yeah, that's why, you know what, again, I've, I've been saying this many, many times. Simplify your life. You don't need like thousands or hundreds of people around you to function or to work well or make you happy. You only need a handful, but the real ones. And, you know, learn from your mistakes and learn to say no and be human. And what I saw last night, pala, what, what is the best advice when you're going through something or something really difficult? Go through it. I mean, like, head on. Face it. Because at, at the end of the day, matatapos din yan. You don't have a choice, matatapos din yan. And if you keep avoiding it, you will still go back. You will have to deal with it. So, might as well deal with it, get it over with, and move on to the next chapter. Wow, ang dami ko nang sabi. With that said, look at these four boys. Four? See? Four, eight boys. Four times two. <laughs> Alright, so there you have it, guys. Again, this one's called, um, from Simon Toys. I actually don't know what they're called. Pitsun. P-E-E-T-S-O-O-N. Yeah, this is one-eighth scale. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I, I think I'm gonna do like a diorama for these boys, like a display diorama for these boys. All right, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my uh, channel, please subscribe to Jed's Loot Box. And also, I have another channel. It's called Jed Modelo Official. Check it out and spread the word. I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.